morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mackenzie Lambert, your host for Mac and the Movies. Today we have another classic on the docket. If you were to ask Attorney General Sessions about today's film, he would likely refer to it as that important documentary he saw as a young child. Today we look at the original Reefer Madness. May Coleman and Jack Perry are a duo of marijuana peddlers. May prefers to sell drugs to clients her own age because they know better. Jack, however, targets the local high school students, using the students already in his clutches to lure them. The film centers on the detrimental effects of marijuana on the life of Bill Harper and his fall from grace. After he starts to smoke the drug, he ends up having sex with Blanche, one of May's associates. When he misinterprets his girlfriend Mary having sex with another smoke fiend, he gets into a fight that leads to her accidental death. The film has an interesting history. Tell Your Children, as it was originally titled, was funded by a church group in 1936 to warn children about the use of cannabis. It wasn't until Dwayne Esper purchased the film and went on a screen tour with it under a variety of titles that it gained a reputation. Doped Youth and The Burning Question were two of the titles. Reefer Madness was the title used in the New England screenings, and it stuck. Dwayne Esper is synonymous with exploitation film. He directed such cult classics as Sex Maniac and How to Undress in Front of Your Husband. Thanks to Esper, the Todd Browning classic Freaks was rescued from obscurity and introduced to a wider audience. I saw Reefer Madness for the first time in years for this review. It comes off as a precursor to a number of different media works and events. Killing Mr. Griffin, any number of Lifetime movies, Frederick Wertham's Seduction of the Innocent, the demonization of comic books, rock and roll, heavy metal, video games, Dungeons and Dragons, any moral hysteria used to instill fear in uninformed parents and gullible children. The cast is a forgettable group, save for one or two performances. There's Dave O'Brien as Ralph, the student who experiences an Edward Hyde caliber transformation through his reefer use. And then there's Joseph Forte as Dr. Carroll, who looks like he could stunt double for Margaret Hamilton. Keep an eye out for Edward the Saint as the judge during Bill's court trial. Earlier in 1936, uh, he played a judge in one of the classic shorts from the Three Stooges, Disorder in the Court. Among the jury in the film, you'll probably recognize another one or two of the Stooge regulars. Reefer Madness has earned its reputation as an over-the-top piece of historical overreaction. We know marijuana as not being anywhere near uh, to close as horrible as the film makes it out to be. We have the likes of Cheech Marin, Tommy Chong, Rob Van Dam, Jesse Ventura, Joe Rogan, and Ronda Rousey advocating for its legality. Cannabis oil and marijuana have led to a better quality of life for patients with conditions such as seizures, AIDS, glaucoma, cancer, multiple sclerosis, Alzheimer's, Crohn's disease, PTSD, stroke recovery, among others. To look at this film now, it is overflowing with camp and self-righteousness that it is the standard for unintentional comedy. It has lost whatever potency as an anti-marijuana film and is now the butt of cinema jokes. If you want a great laugh at the expense of misinformation, check out Reefer Madness. And that finishes this look at Reefer Madness. Uh, Thanks for taking time out of your day to check out this video. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Um, Go ahead and follow my channel to stay on top of future content. I'm Mackenzie Lambert with Mac and the Movies. Stay tuned for after the credits for a preview of next week's film. Until next time, take care everyone. Marx Brothers, they're too young. Columbia Pictures presents 
<laughs> the monkeys. Mickey, Davy, Mike, Peter in head. Thank you.